Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. Today is my last recording day before my holly bobs. Uh, today is Friday the 15th. Hopefully all the bulk content has been good for you. Uh, this video, if I'm not mistaken, will actually be uploaded 100% when I'm back. Uh, basically today is my last recording session. And anything I make today is just bonus content. So when I get back, I don't have to feel as pressured because I'll have no content. So this might be the, the second video on the Monday. Um, I, which means I would have already streamed back from the holiday. Um, but yeah, so if I make three, four, five videos today, it'll just be going a bit longer into this week. Uh, we're playing a Nivea. Um, I just was in the mood to play an Nivea game. I had to blind pick. I'm against an RE. She's also got Ignite, and she's some type of Smurf. I will say, I just got stomped when 0-8. If you're like, well, that's bad. Oh, yeah, last game was quite tilting. We uh, lost a game, and the enemy team didn't have a jungler. They picked Poppy with Ignite, and I presume it was now intentional that, yes, they didn't have a jungler, and all what happened is the enemy team had a Pike bot lane, Poppy technically top lane with a Vayne top, and it was roaming gank squad, completely always outnumbered, and we were doing okay, we were holding our own, but I got absolutely mullered getting camped, and the annoying thing is all of it would have been fine if we had like a, a an active jungler. We had a Shivana. And Shivanas are not active. They are power farmers. So it was literally like the worst jungler to have in that situation because Shivana just couldn't do anything about it. It sucked. But it, yeah, very weird. Uh, so the Ari herself on a six game loss streak though. So again, a Smurf on a six game loss streak. It does happen. Loss streaks sometimes there just, just doesn't feel you can do anything about them. Uh, bot lane is going to be a late game versus early game. So that'll be interesting to see. Again, Lee Sin, again, early game. So I would say if we manage to get through the early game without them snowballing, we should win. Trundle, amazing scaling. Zac, better than a Lee Sin. Cogmore, Lulu, amazing. I'd say Anivia and Ari are actually quite similar in a few ways. But yeah. Uh, did I call a Huzzy Eye on Royal? I think I did. Huzzy Eye contract on Royal Naga, anybody? Fuzzy sniper, the box is getting out, the sniper rifle box. Welcome How long am I going for? Um, so we're officially, I think, traveling Tuesday afternoon, I think. Um, so we won't really have a, a, at all much time there on Tuesday. Um, we're back, though, Friday evening. Um, but we're not coming home on Friday because obviously we're dropping Maya off to stay with Queen Pleb's family. So we're going back to theirs staying the night there and then we'll be traveling home on the saturday so we're back on saturday the 23rd um which means i might stream on the 24th oh god guys oh he's gonna kill the lee mm. not the worst thing in the world but that was still really dumb by my team um yeah that was really dumb so hopefully we will uh, have a really good time. I'm sure we will. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I don't want to say it really loud, but obviously I am planning on doing something on the holiday. Um, I hope it will be a success. <laughs> I think it will be. And for those that are like, what is he planning on doing? Let's just say my... Uh, relationship status will probably be a notch up. A thousand lives will I give for the Freljord. So yeah, exciting. Get out of town. I've had the physical object, by the way, for a long time. Black Friday sale last year. It was very expensive, Jesus Christ. Find peace. You know, like in Tiger King, when he's like, how I'm never going to financially recover from this? Yep. I actually know how he felt in that moment, I think. I still can't believe Tiger King was real. Ooh. That was a really crazy play by the Ari. I really don't think that was even worth it. 
Because they didn't really know if Zack was in this general area and would have been able to come and save me. Yeah, I don't like that flash play. What we need, and again, this, uh, this is the thing. What I need is a gank. Will I get one? No. <laughs> I never get ganks. <laughs> Because now the Ares no six, no mobility has used flash. To a Zac and Nivea, it's a free kill. Like legit. Our CC level is so high. So we'll see if I get a gank, but I'm not holding my breath. Jump on it! Hey, look, cuz, you're getting a gank. I know it's magical, and we got a straight away, because as I said, it was a free kill. Rundle got tower dove. I said this last game, because again, the fiesta of that match, of getting tower dove all the time as a Viga in the early game, straight up, one of my biggest complaints I would say in League nowadays, towers are so bad. They need to make towers so much stronger. It would fix so many things, by the way, like crazy, weird, only split pushing strategies make towers stronger. Tower diving at level 3 make towers stronger. Towers are nothing anymore. They really need to make towers do more. I think it would be such a, a more healthy game if towers actually did something. But they do nothing! Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, I, I definitely think... I saw this on Reddit the other day as well. Someone's like, you know, it kind of sucks that uh, towers, you know, you can just build billions of armor and then towers don't affect you. I actually think towers should do true damage. I've always thought that. Considering they've got true damage in the game, which again is a controversial thing anyway, I think towers themselves should do just true damage. Again, that would once again make them actually a bit more... Good. We are all connected. So that is my opinion, obviously. Not everyone's going to agree with it. I'm sure like someone that plays uber tanky tank loves the tower dive. They probably love that towers are near enough useless at the moment. But I don't know. It just feels like they should do more. I have felt this corruption before. The tower, the damage of them is very lackluster. They're... Pretty damn squishy, even in the early game. That trundle is so much stronger than that Olaf. Wow. Wait, what? Oh, Elixir of Force. Wait, why did she proc it straight away? She, she's she got that thing that gives her the extra skill point and stuff, which one, I don't know why you'd want that on Ari. But secondly, why did she proc, proc it straight away? You're not supposed to proc that straight away. You're supposed to hold it until you're actively having a fight. Um, they might be doing dragon or they're looking for... Oh, they're doing dragon. I was like, they're even doing dragon or they're looking for a four-man dive or bot lane. Dragon it is. Now Lee Sin might look for a tower dive. Potentially, Cogmore needs some help. Again, it is the whole like late game versus early game. Oh, it's worth mentioning, by the way. Uh, oh, they are, there's the four-man dive. I was wondering where the Ari was. Cogmore got another kill. Not the end of the world. Um, yeah, last night there was a bugged patch that went live when it wasn't supposed to, by the way. Uh, the new TFT set came out for an hour. My, I don't know if everyone's has. My settings all reset. All of it. So I actually... Uh, several things are not right. I just noticed here I don't have my mana costs on my spells. Uh, I don't even know how I'll put that on. I thought it was somewhere there, but I couldn't see it initially. It's always the setting that you're really looking for. You never can find... 
There it is. Alright, now we've got the costs. Yeah, so annoying. I don't change a crazy amount of settings in League of Legends, but the ones you do are important to you, you know? Because, like, that's V. That's fine. Yeah, a bit annoying. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, question of the day, obviously going off the topic that we just spoke about, what do you guys think of towers? Do you think they are okay? Are you happy with them? Do you think they should be buffed? And how would you? Would you make them tankier? Would you... Really good trade. Would you make them do true damage? Like, what What? What do you think? I, I would do two things. I'd make them tankier and I'd make them do true damage. I just don't think they're a factor in the game at the moment. And just reminding everyone, there is there's a the inkling that um, there's a durability patch coming to League of Legends again soon, so everyone's going to get slightly tankier, once again making towers even worse. That was a really bad Zack jump, but they should be alright. Nice, he even got his flash. That's going to tilt the Draven like mad. That's all of his passive in the last five minutes, not being able to stack. Big, 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 big. Right, let's go back. Make sure I'm at full mana. Oh, Leeson's bot. Oh. I mean, I don't mind her keeping me there. Doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, I've got TP in 40, and these are spawning in a minute. So I guess what I'll do is I'll stay and then go back before Void Grubs and use my teleport to get back to lane. I guess that's probably the better play. Can't really help you there, friend. She's still got ultimate up, so she can feel pretty cocky here. Yeah, don't don't overdo it, because Lee Sin's gonna pop up every like in a minute if we're not careful. Lee Sin, there's actually bot lane again. They're really, I guess, panicked about the Cogmore. Eh, we'll still out to uh, scale them. Look at top lane, by the way. The Lee Sin's ignoring that this lane exists, and it's going absolutely terribly for them. Really going for uh, Draven. But again, I don't know. Sometimes it feels, you know, the Draven is winning by default against a Cogmore in the early game anyway. If Lee Sin and Draven both fall off, it kind of feels like they need to uh, focus a more late game thing. So Ari or Olaf. And again, well, to be honest, Olaf's not even late game. Oh my god, you let him steal it. Well, that's bad. That is really bad that Draven gets to steal one of them. And Leeson's straight on Infernal. Eww. Well, nothing we can do about that dragon. Zack is literally the other side of the map. I do think, again, Zack obviously went bot lane and they ended up getting like a double kill. I think Zack just needs to start going down there now. If he just starts going down there a lot, why is... Oh, they're, like, they're roll swapping? But meanwhile in top lane, Trundle is 1v1 killing the Olaf because Olaf has been ignored. Obviously, Zack did go top lane a bunch in the early game. Right, we got our Rod at 12 minutes. That's actually not a bad time for Rod of Ages. So at 22 minutes, we'll be fully leveled on Rod. That's pretty good. I'll take it. See you later, Ride. Gonna go watch Shogun. I need to continue that, man. I only watched half an episode. Nice. Keep attacking. Wait, what? Eason got killed by Trundle. The other way around. Ari has missed everything. And used Ignite on a tank. And then uses Flash to finish the Goggle. God damn it. My team's letting the early game team snowball. 
which is literally the only thing we just don't let them do and we automatically win. Hoi hoi. Oh my god, they have done zero damage to this tower. It's 5,000. My bot lane did not hit it once. But... Wow, that was uh, a bit of an int play by Zach. What am I watching? <laughs> that was so weird. Hey, so darts. All right, two plates for me. That's basically a kill worth of gold. That's another kill for Cog. So Cog's actually getting there. Oh. I was watching. That's pretty good. Double kill for Cogmore. Doing. I knew she. I know she has malignance, but I still knew she didn't have ultimate yet. She should not be fighting me at all. No idea. Nice big shutdown for Trundle, and then they should do Rift Herald from that. That's really good. I need to try and fix the command to show my rank in chat. It's been bugged ever since the new hashtag system. I'm just going to go for this. I know Ari's probably beelining it down here. You need to be with your Draven, Mrs. Karma, because he's dead. Pretty good. Very nice, very good, very nice. This has like actually gone pretty good for me in the early game, by the way, as an, as an Anivia. The one thing that I don't think Anivia is very good in modern day League, the, the pace of the game is so fast, Anivia can't keep up with the pace of the early game. So if you actually get through the early game kind of okay, I'd say the champion is decent. But most games, the pace of the game is simply too quick. Because if a fight breaks out in the early game... Level four, let's say you're useless. Bit. He wants to take bot lane from me. See, this is why I don't get ever crazy amount of farm because why I'm also a solo laner and then like top laners just come over and go, I'm having that now. What the heck. You sin? What is the enemy team doing? You sin? Are they trolling? Like, hello? Maybe they're just really desperate because of their early game comp. That was near enough a troll play there. Uh oh. Yeah, you cancelled my TP, sucker! That's what you get! Happy to do that, Mrs. Mr. Draven? Olaf, obviously being 0-5, is just going to raid split push this game. PUBG? Oh my god. Me and uh, my friend Tentry, who you see in chat as a mod every now and then, um, we actually did speak about recently that we might go back and play some PUBG. I love that game. It's got gunplay like realistically no other game. It's really good. So playing Skull and Bones? Uh, I am, but not this week. Because this week I've literally not played any games in my spare time. I'm not even kidding. Like, I've... Every apart from last night where I had COD night with my friends, but well, we didn't play COD. Um, I've not played any games. I've been in just completely bulk recording mode. I've been obviously doing league solo queue in my own spare time to do POV commentaries. I have not chilled this week at all. My day off Wednesday, I worked the whole day. Yeah. Everything like pre holiday is just prepare for holiday. And then someone just said, I ever thought about Tarkov? I've played Tarkov a few years ago. 
not my type of game when I want to just chill. League is a stressful game as it is. When I'm finished streaming, do I really want to be like, right, time to chill and relax. Right, time to play Tarkov. It doesn't really give me that kind of, oh, we're just going to chill vibes, you know? On Kaz. Jesus. I guess he's 0 5, so he's like borderline tilted, so he just wanted to go completely all in. Fair play, I guess. I mean, I've played a bit of Helldivers, but I think that game is only amazing if you're playing it with like a full group of four and. You know, my main group that I play with is Jeebus, Aaron, and Gals. And, you know, we're all adults. You know, they all have full-time 9 to 5 kind of jobs. So it's actually kind of hard to get everyone together sometimes when you're in, like, the adult world. Think beyond one. Right, I've got egg now. That was a shame that I didn't have egg for the Olaf. It's potentially a contributing factor to why he went absolutely all in as well. Why did you ghost? Straven. He doesn't control where he's like going at all. He doesn't just use kick. Wait, I guess I go top. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that the stun went forward and just killed her. Did you see that? Oh, Cogmore. That was really funny. Wait, are you actually? <laughs> Why did you then go forward in? That was a weird choice by the Zack. He should be fine, I guess. You're fighting that? Oh my god, this Zack's insane. I know Zack is like borderline OP at the moment, but Jesus. See? This Lee does not understand he's kind of fallen off. This Lee, Lee, Lee Sin always falls off, but his utility with others is where he can stay in the game well. And he's not really playing with others. Dragon's Dogma 2. I've not looked into it massively, if I'm honest. Um, I asked, because Jeebus is really into those games, I think. And I asked him, and I was like, is it like Baldur's Gate? And he's like, eh, not really. It's more hack and slash, I think he said. But, uh, you know, it's probably reviewing amazing. It's probably a really good game. But I've never I've never played, I don't think, a Dragon's Dogma game. Uh, I'll have a look into it. Because, like, Baldur's Gate is typically not my type of game. And I absolutely love that. So, um, yeah. There's definitely games that I enjoy that I never really used to play those type of games, so... Okay. My team need to be a little bit careful. Let's come over and do dragon. Lee Sin has typically been here straight away every dragon. And there's my da ding ding ding. Alright. Nice. That was pretty easy. Enemy team's just simply fallen off. You can go do Baron. They have fallen off. To be honest, they didn't play. They're not playing well together. Like Draven completely by himself. Armor late to the fight. Ari late to the fight. 
So yeah, they're not really playing together anyway, but... Yeah. And meanwhile, Trundle... He dies, but he's opened up their base. It's a shame not giving Trundle Baron, actually, because obviously he's such a strong split pusher. I right, care for Draven ulti. That was a bad smite. Really late. I don't want a base yet. Like, I need, I want this. 135 gold. Oh, close. Uh, got it. I had to take all that farm and Cogmo was trying to take it himself, which is like, please, let me have that. Don't want to give them mid lane. Oh. Whoa. Yep. They keep fighting a Cogmo who's completely outscaled them at this rate of the game. I don't even think I need to be there, if I'm honest. They can't do anything. Oh, they're going for him all in, and he died at the end. Oh, they actually did. Trundle might be able to clean, though. Oh! Wow, they didn't have enough damage to kill the Zack. Split push Anivia, ladies and gentlemen. New tech. Look at this. Oh, call me the Bowser of Abyss. Move over. I am the split pusher now. Hot special. Hot special was literally just auto attacking, but it's a hot special. GG! Did we win the double top game? No. We got demolished in that game. But yeah, nice to get the win. Saves us from getting demoted as well. Uh, yeah, we did the bounty yesterday for the new WWE game. Um, which was actually really fun. I'm, I, I'm genuinely... I'm happy I did that bounty, and it's going to sound really stupid, because I never would have bought that game. Like, I just wouldn't have bought it. But now that I own it for free because of the bounty, I'm actually probably going to play a bit of that game. Like, make my own character and do the story mode. So, yeah. Which is kind of funny. So, we got only again. Plus 18 is what we're getting at the moment. You go 626, 14.1k, and if you're like, Huz, you got so out damaged by the Ari. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This was such a free game for us that I didn't really have to fight 24-7, as you may notice. So I wasn't fighting 24-7, where the RE and their team felt pressured. They have to fight. They have to stop us getting late game. So the RE got involved in way more fights. So I'm not surprised she outdamaged me at all. If this game survived another 15-20 minutes, my damage naturally would have started going a lot higher. But we just didn't need to risk anything in the early game, and risking things is fighting. So I just wasn't doing that. But we just controlled it very nicely. I got an S on Anivia, S plus on Zac. I got honoured by the Trundle, of all people. But yeah, just a very controlled game, really. Didn't need to risk anything. If you guys did enjoy, though, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. regime I know how to unleash eternal power lead us to order